Okay, welcome everyone to this Minecraft video. This is my first, so you might just have to bear with me. I'm currently playing Minecraft, but I have the Yogs Box 1.2 for Minecraft 1.8.1 installed. That's a bit of a mouthful, but it's the latest version of the Yogs Box from their website. What I've done is I have chosen not to install the More Health mod, but it seems like it's installed it anyway. I'm not really sure what's going on with that, it just seems a little bit weird. What I have done though, is I have updated Millionaire, which is the mod that allows you to have villages, up to 1.7.5, which is the latest version from the website. And I have also installed Apothecarium for Minecraft 1.8.1. I've also got a texture pack on, which is the Quandry texture pack. Thanks to Paul Souls Jr. for showing me how good that looks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in now, I'm going to create a new world. For lack of a better name, I'm going to call it New World Yogs Box Survival. Everything's pretty straightforward. There's going to be a little bit of lag when we get going here. Holy crap, I've spawned in a tree. Um, okay, that's most unusual. What I'll do is I'll just wander around, let some chunks load. Kinda. Oh, there we go. Try and see if we can get everything working the way that it should. Gonna have to sort of bear with me while I try and think I've got the sounds just a little bit loud. So I'm just gonna go in and turn the music down a bit. Turn the volume down a bit as well. Nice round numbers, that's better. Okay. What you'll see here is that I've got a tree capacitor loaded, which is part of the Yogs box, which really is just fantastic because it makes this whole thing of chopping down trees much less painful. Wouldn't say it makes it painless, but it makes it much less painful. Okay, lots and lots of chickens and ducks, chickens and ducks. Oh, do you still give me food? Feathers and food, so in that case, I don't have to kill the spy chickens, I can just pack some ducks. Pack that Mr. Duck. The only problem I see with killing all these things with my wooden axe is that I'm absolutely destroying my wooden axe. Ah, excellent. Okay, so just up the top up here I just glimpsed, this is something. It is golden grass. Now that is part of the Apothecarium mod. I don't actually know what it does, but what it does have is it's got an achievement for it. Root of the problem. Find a way to extract the golden grass root without destroying it. I have absolutely no idea how to do that. I've actually played with that mod just a little bit before and I still have no idea what I'm doing. What I'm really surprised about though is normally there's either a village right on top of you when you spawn or there's a village that spawns right on top of you after you've spawned. I haven't seen either, but we've got the V key. Okay, no known village closer than two kilometers. Keep searching. Ah, uh, that pretty much sucks. I was really hoping to be able to kind of just sort of show what that mod is all about. Ah. Wow, that's a bit of a drop. Um, ravines are cool. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find a way down there easily soon. Um, to be honest, I'm sort of more concentrating on just not dying. So I'm going to hack myself some more trees. Set myself up for a bit of a base here. While I've got oodles of wood and I can make charcoal, I'd rather try and see if I can find some coal. There we go. This is one of the big advantages of this texture pack. Makes it really easy to see. Makes it really easy to see where coals and minerals and other things like that are. So what I'm going to do, um, actually, this looks like a pretty good place. I'm going to turn this into my home. So, 
start off by making some planks. Standard Minecraft stuff. Then we'll take some planks and make some sticks. Again, bog standard as you can get. Other than the animals which are part of the Mo Creatures mods. The Ogspock doesn't really look any different until you get a little way into it. So I'm going to carve myself out a little face here. Oh, the coal on the ground. Uh, typical giant vein of coal. Um, not sure exactly how I'm going to cope with this yet. I was really hoping to kind of have my house enter in. That's a giant, really loud reverberating spore noise if ever I've heard one. Um, I'll just hack away for a while and see what I do. I think unfortunately now I've just taken out my own way to get back up, so... Let's see how much I've got, 14, that should be 20. some of this duck. Now that I've got everything I need, I'll cook some duck and then I'll use some planks to make a door. Make some more planks now. And I'll Again, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do this yet, but I've decided I'm going to have a nice wood plank floor. Okay, I've got plenty more cobble and plenty of sticks, so... Time for an upgrade. Beautiful. Yeah, I like having a nice symmetrical house, so... Four blocks across just isn't going to do it. I'm going to have to make it five. And I think I like the look of that wood plank floor, so I'll whack some more there and then we'll board this up a little bit. Dig the rest of that coal out later. Uh, that wasn't what I was meaning to do. The downside always is that, yeah end up with a beautiful house on the first day that you can't see out of and you can't tell when the sun's gone up and when the sun's gone down. Oh, really, come on. That's better. So what I'm intending to do is put my door just here. And not throw my feathers, it just looks like I'm trying to throw my feathers. Beautiful. Now that I have some food, I will disassemble these things that I've built. Better. Welcome to my humble home. Yeah, no home's complete without lighting, so let's light this puppy up. Beautiful. Don't worry about that coal and stuff, I will get that later. First of all, I just want to have... deep enough that I can cower like a little baby when some skeletons come. You know, I guess this isn't quite in the spirit of what you'd expect from a start to Minecraft. But yeah, there you go. What I've got now is I've got myself a little setup and I will say goodbye for now. <laughs>